Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Antonia, hope you guys are doing well. Today I wanted to talk about picking the perfect luggage because if you follow me, then you know I like to travel. Also, jump scare, I got bangs. If you don't follow me on Instagram, underscore hello Harley, or follow me on TikTok at hello Harley, then you would have never known I got bangs. Surprise, shoddy. I got bangs. Anyways, um, follow me there because I've been posting a lot more content on those two platforms because I know a lot of y'alls like shorter form content as opposed to this long form content that I really actually enjoy myself. But let me let me just go back onto topic. So when I went on my trip last year, I went to Portugal and I went to Japan, right? I was lugging around my old luggage from 2016 that I got at Winners. It's fine. The luggage is fine. It's by Diane von Wurstenberg. I get so many compliments on those luggages and they are beautiful pieces. However, they're just not rolling the same as they should be anymore. And I told myself, especially after my Japan trip, when I come back to Canada, if I find a set of three CalPAC luggages at Winners, I'm just going to buy them. Okay, I'm just going to go plunge and buy them even if I have no trip planned. So after months and months of searching, I finally found a set of three that fit my criteria. And they're here. If you've never heard of CalPAC before, by the way, this video is not sponsored. Like I went searching and I got back to look for these. Like I kept, kept popping into Winners and Marshalls. Okay, so CalPAC was founded in 1989 by the Kwan family. They are located in California. It is an Asian American brand. They started out selling handbags and wallets and then it kind of trickled into luggage. Now, sometime in the 2000s, I believe the daughter took over and she is now the head of CalPAC. CalPAC stands for California Pack, I believe. And again, not sponsored. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of history because before there was a way, before there was Monos, before there was Bays, there was CalPAC. And I actually have known about CalPAC for a long time because I think in 2016, that's when their luggage started taking off a little bit because everyone had that marble set. And to be honest, they kind of started the trend on making sure that luggage was not only usable like the condition of it was usable very thought out but it was aesthetically pleasing i i feel like they are the ones who started the trend on that and then away came in and then bays came in and then monos came in and again those companies i can't speak for them because i've never used their stuff i actually love the monos magnolia bakery collaboration would love to gain those pieces of luggage but I think they sold out in the purple color. So anyways, also I didn't want to spend like a thousand something dollars on luggages because if you're located in Canada and you want to find CalPAC, you can find this, I think 80, 90 and 100. So you can find three pieces of luggage for $300, which is a steal of a deal because the quality you're getting for these pieces of luggage is exceptional. So my sister actually has owned her CalPAC, which is like a small carry-on size for about, I think she got it in 2017. So since 2017, it has like lived up to it. It just glides so well. I was so jealous because like one of my friends and my sister, they both had CalPAC luggages when we went to Japan and their luggages were just gliding. Okay. They were stuffed to the brim, but they were just gliding through whatever stone, whatever ground surface there was. And then there was me and my other friend. Girl, we were struggling. And when you're just one person and you're carrying these many luggages, they need to go, okay? They need to just move because I had this stuff with me. Well, I actually, when I went to Japan in 2023, I didn't carry this many. I had two pieces of luggage, a backpack, and then like a tote bag. And girl, that was, it's just hard to get through. And even when I went to Portugal, I just had a carry-on, but I stuffed it to the brim and it was just so difficult to lug around because it was just not, it was not gliding the way I wanted to. So 
when I finally found a set of three, I decided obviously I would go for it. Sometimes you are lucky and you find the set of three in really cute colors. I've seen black a lot and I didn't want black because when it comes out of the conveyor belt, I want to be able to spot my luggage. Although white is not that like different. I feel like a lot of people have it. I'm going to put stickers on this and hopefully I'll be able to figure out it's my luggage. I did originally want purple and I saw a set of purple, like a lavender set when I, like before I went to Japan and I never bought it because I was like, I don't need another set. Like I should really use what I have. And I still love the set I have, the Diane von Furstenberg set. I get so many compliments on people love that luggage. It just, it's not a workhorse. It just doesn't work the way these luggages work. So I got a set of three. The set I have is the Voyager line. What I can say about these is that number one, the carry-on size here that I have, it is okay to bring onto the plane. If you shop with bays, then you'll know that the carry-on size is actually a little bit too big to fit on Air Canada. That brand I love as well. It just, it's very thoughtful, but this size carry-on, the dimensions do not fit the Air Canada requirements and you know, people sometimes have issues. If you have like a plane that's too packed, then you'll have issues with your bag making it onto your carry-on plane. Um, usually they'll offer to check it or whatever, but again, sometimes you just don't want to check it. If you're just like going to Florida or something and you just want to zip out of there, I don't want to be checking a bag. So the dimensions for this small carry-on size is 22 by 14 by nine and a half. It weighs about 7.9 pounds and its capacity is 43 liters. So it's really great. Every one of these three luggages, they're about the same. It has the trolley that can adjust in its height, which is really nice. Because if I want to hold it here, then I can. If I want it taller, then it can. So it's adjustable. It has a really nice cushiony handle like underneath is like squishy and then also on the sides where is it the sides there's also a cushiony squishy handle as well there's a lock here as well but again um if you wanted to you didn't have to use that lock you can just lock them as is there is an expander as well if i really wanted to expand this which i could if i wanted to I would prefer to have a luggage without zippers, like how Ramoa does it, but um, I just, I haven't found one like that. So this is what I, I have. So this is, this is fine for me for now. When you open it up, it is dual zipper, of course. And then you're gonna have two sides. So one has this side where you can like kind of clasp everything. There's a pocket right here as well that you could put like loose things into. And then on the other side, and all these luggages have the same interior, there's two pockets. There's a mesh pocket that's zippered. And then you can just open this up. And then it opens up and then you have this compartment that can hold whatever else you need to hold. So again, really great size. Um, I really like the quality of CalPAC. I know I haven't used this yet, but because my friends have CalPAC and my sister has CalPAC, I can attest to the quality because they've had it for a long time now and it's just been great quality. So that's what I have here. Also does say that there's a two year warranty on the original purchaser against defects in materials and workmanship from the two years that it was purchased. So that was the small size. And then of course I have the medium size as well because if I go back to Asia, what I do is I ship these empty. I will put them into each other like Russian dolls and ship them empty. That way I'm not waiting on two luggages when they're empty, like, you know. I also like to put air tags in them so I can figure out where they are. But this medium Voyager luggage is 25 inches by 16 inches by 10.25 inches. Its weight is 8.5 pounds. Yeah, so it's not heavy, but you know, it needs to have weight to it. 
and its capacity is 61.8 liters. So again, the inside is all the same. Even the outside is all the same. You have the trolley, the cushion pad, again on the side, the cushion pad, so you can kind of carry it this way. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned, but on the sides here, there's actually feet in case you need to put it down this way, which is nice. Then of course there's the four rollers on the bottom. And then the inside of the luggage is the same interior as the small ones. So it's just bigger dimensions. And then lastly, we have the large size here. Again, same thing, cause they are a matching set, but this size is 29 inches by 19 inches by 12 inches. Its weight is 10.7 pounds and its capacity is 100.8 liters. Once again, same things. Again, everything is about the same because they are a matching set. And of course I can expand all of these if I wanted to because there is the expansion here. So yeah, that is my complete new luggage that I picked up from Winners. If you are located in Canada as well, I've seen the only place to find CalPAC is Winners. And honestly, it comes at a steal of a deal because $100, $90, and $80. Um, for a set of three and for a set that just glides so well when you're carrying them, it's really worth the money. Um, I also want the Luca duffel. I think they're really known for that right now. And it just slides onto like the trolley pass here or the trolley, this trolley part. Um, so it just stays into place. I really want that. I haven't seen that at Winners. I usually just see their luggages. And I did see recently at the Young and Shepherd location, Winners, they had the Steven soft-sided duffel that has a roller as well. I think it was going for like $80 or something like that. So yeah, definitely check your Winners if you are looking for good luggage. But this is my recommendation, my Osasume for you because, um, I don't think you need to spend thousands of dollars on the luggage. You can just spend the 300 and get really good quality luggage. I can do a review again once I use them, but I don't have a trip planned anytime soon. So just to let you know, but yeah, that is it for today's video. That is all. I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know if you have any questions uh, in regards to the cal pack and stuff like that. And let me know if you guys want a long haul flight, like must haves or must do's. So let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.